Hey guys, just a quick video today to demonstrate my new tabs section. I actually built this a few months ago, but I've recently updated it and made it much better, especially on mobile. So I wanted to show you how it works and demonstrate some of the settings in case you might find this useful for your store. If you're new to this channel, my name's Ed. I'm a Shopify web developer and I make tutorial videos on YouTube. And I also build and sell these sections that you can add to your store to any theme with a very simple copy and paste. Okay, so let's take a look at the tabs section. You can add the section to any page, but I mostly expect that you would use it on the product page because this is where you really want to save some space and maybe add some additional information about your product, but have it compact inside of these tabs. So here we've got the preview of the tabs and you can see in the sidebar, we've got the section itself and that it works just the same as any Shopify section that is part of your theme, right? You've got the section settings and then you've got the settings for each of the blocks and you have different block types that you add. So each block that you add is a new tab. So if I want to add a rich text tab, then I would simply add a rich text block and then I can go into that block to change the content. Okay, but I'll remove that for now and I'll run you through the different block types that I've added here. First of all, we have a description block type. You only need to add one of these, but this is for the actual product description. So there's no text field here, as you can see, it's actually pulling in the real product description. I imagine that if you have a really long product description like this, you probably don't want to show it in the product information column here because that's going to push these buttons down the page and just lengthens the page. So if you have a long product description, it's, it's often best to put it underneath, but many themes don't come with this sort of ability. So that's the first type of tab that you can do. The second type is simply a rich text tab where you have a field here, you can put any kind of rich text information. So you can use headings, lists, you know, links, that type of thing, very simple. Now this is also a rich text tab, but here we've got these specs coming from a meta field, right? So you can see here, I've connected a dynamic source and I've got this specs meta field, which is holding this information and that's going to be different information for every product. Next, we have a tab that allows you to include a page inside of this tab and that is a real page from your site. So here we're using the shipping and returns page by just including it on the product page as well, just for the customer's convenience. The next tab in my example here is a review widget from the judge me reviews app but basically it's to demonstrate that you can add any kind of app blocks as one of the tabs here. So whichever app you're using, it might have certain app blocks that you can use and add here inside of the tabs. And then finally, the last type of tab we have is a custom liquid tab. Here you can include any code you want. I imagine that most of all you would use this for iframes, like any kind of embeds, usually a YouTube video, or maybe you have some kind of calendar plugin or something else. So any kind of code can go here, or perhaps if you're following one of my tutorials, you can do one of those things. So for example, I've got this in stock notification here. And that's all there is to it really. It's very easy to use. You can drag these blocks around to reposition the tabs if you want. And it all works exactly like your native Shopify sections and blocks. And if you're wondering how this looks on mobile, this is part of my recent update. What I've done is converted them to accordions on mobile. So whenever the screen gets too small to fit all of the tabs, they're going to turn into these accordions instead, otherwise known as collapsible rows. And functionally, this is almost the same thing as tabs. The purpose is that it stores a lot of extra information in a very compact manner and people don't have to scroll too much, especially on mobile screens where you want to save some space. The section comes with a bunch of settings so that you can customize the spacing to match the rest of your theme. On mobile, for example, you can have this style with some padding on the sides, or you can have a full width style for these accordions. You can also use some emojis or symbols in the headings. 
You can have this type of full width style as well. And on desktop, I've added a bunch of settings so that you can line up the section with the rest of your theme. And I'm open to your requests for modifications. When you buy this once, you own it for life, you get any updates for free. So for example, I recently updated it to version two and everyone who has bought it so far will get version two for free. And to update, it's just one more copy and paste. And I'll show you how to install it right now. Okay, so here I am on a different store to demonstrate how to add the code. So first of all, when you buy the section from Gumroad, you will be directed to this page here with some simple instructions and the actual code itself that you can simply copy like so to copy all the code. It's quite long. Uh, and then I'll show you where to paste it. So here from the themes page, you're going to open your code editor. And then here in the sidebar, you'll see your theme has a bunch of different folders and you're looking for the sections folder. This contains all the different sections that your theme has. And all we're going to do is add our own section. So click add a new section and name it ed underscore tabs, and then it'll get the dot liquid automatically added. Now, about this prefix, the ed prefix. <laughs> this is just how I name my sections so that I can later easily see here that this is a section that I added, that it wasn't part of the theme initially. And that might be important if you're updating to a newer version of your theme or moving across to a different theme, right? So just something to stand out. So if you don't call it ed underscore tabs, then call it your name tabs or your company name tabs, whatever. Okay, and keep this as liquid, it's not a JSON file. So done. Now, remove all this, we're just going to grab that code and paste. That's it. Now you save that file. And that's all you needed to do for the installation. Now head over to your theme customizer as you normally would add a section as you would a native section from your theme and you should see that your section list now has this option, the tabs section with a little lightning bolt that I add so that you can visually see that these are custom sections that you added yourself. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and use it just like any other section, add blocks, change the settings, do whatever you want with this section. And finally, a small note, if you are someone that updates your theme very regularly, just keep in mind that every time you update your theme, this file won't be included in the newer version of your theme. So you'll have to do this process again, simply add a new section, add underscore tabs, right? And then head over to this file that you will always have access to. You can simply bookmark it since it's just a normal web page. So head over here, copy the code again, paste it in here. And then unfortunately, on the newer version of the theme, you won't have these settings, the settings will be cleared out. So you need to recreate the settings. So make all the same adjustments that you made the first time. That's simply one of the disadvantages of using native sections like this versus an app, for example. But as you know, with an app, you have a monthly subscription fee that you have to pay. Whereas this is simply a one time purchase and you own it for life. An app also might load in a lot of extra code, which tends to slow down your store. And apps are also often just not as simple to use. They're not natively built in here. You have to modify them through an app interface, as you probably know. So that's all for this video. If you want to try any of my sections, visit shop.ed dot codes. And if you have any requests for me to build something, please leave a comment under this video. See you in the next one.